and welcome, 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 and happy Sabbath to everyone. We are back, and we are live, and we are on your screen this evening. Happy Sabbath. We are back with the Youth War Talk, right? This evening, it's an all-male crew, right? All the males are here this evening as we're having a wonderful discussion. We're going to be discussing a part of the Bible this evening. We're looking at temptations, temptations. And I will, we want to look at Matthew chapter 4. And um, we will be getting a very engaging um, discussion this evening. So we want you to share the, share the link. Share the link with everyone. And help them to tell them, tell them. We are live right about now. And they should join in the discussion. I want to thank you for joining us. And hope that you really enjoy this time with us. But before you go any further, we just want to have a word of prayer by Brother Jamal. And then we will take the discussion from there. Hmm bow all heads and close all eyes. Dear Heavenly Father, we want to thank you for allowing us to gather once again in your presence to have a discussion with your people. We ask that you open our eyes that we may see and understand new things in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Our scripture for this evening is Matthew chapter 4 and we're reading from this one. Okay, one, yes. one, right. one and we would we would see where it goes we from there. Down. Yeah. All right. So Matthew 4, starting from verse 1, and it says, Then was Jesus led up of the Spirit into the wilderness to be tempted of the devil. And when he had fasted 40 days and 40 nights, he was afterward and hungered. And when the tempter came to him, he said, If thou be the Son of God, Command that these stones be made bread. But he answered and said, It is written, Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeded out of the mouth of God. Then the devil, no, then the devil taketh him up into the holy city, and setteth him on a pinnacle of the temple, and said unto him, If thou be the Son of God, cast thyself down, for it is written, he shall give angels charge concerning thee, and in their hands they shall bear thee up, lest at any time thou dash thy foot against a stone. And said unto him, Oh, yeah, it is written again, Thou shalt not tempt the Lord thy God. Again, the devil taketh him up into an exceeding, exceeding high mountain, and sheweth him all the kingdoms of the world and the glory of them, and saith unto him, All these things will I give thee, if thou wilt fall down and worship me. Verse 10, Then said Jesus unto him, Get thee hence, Satan, for it is written, Thou shalt worship the Lord thy God, and him only shalt thou serve. And verse 11, Then the devil leaveth him, and behold, angels came and ministered unto him. All right. <clears throat> That was a good scripture there. Mm -hmm. um, just a quick backdrop. This happened immediately right after Jesus was baptized. Mm -hmm. Right? Right after he was baptized, <coughs> he was taken into the wilderness. And, you know, um, even when I was looking at this text, something always comes to mind that for some reason I could be wrong, but you know, sometimes for some people, you know, they just, be, they just have a nice, good life, and as soon as they're baptized, all kind of things just start to happen to them. Mm -hmm. I, know, I could be wrong. But you know, it's like I've seen some people where, like, like, as soon as they turn their life, everything was good before, you know, but as soon as they are baptized and turn their life to God, it's like all kind of challenges coming along, all yeah. kind of things happening, happening to them, yeah. all kind of challenges and these kind of stuff. But it shows, but it shows to me that the importance of the decision that you have made. Um, I'm not saying that everybody would 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 be would be a tumultuous life mm -hmm. after they're baptized. But then you have made a, a definite decision that you want to follow Christ. Mm -hmm. And now those challenges you are faced with, once you face it with God, you're gonna be okay. But it's gonna come because the devil is gonna want to dissuade you when mm -hmm. I want you to turn make back you to think your, that this is not right, where it's supposed to be right and make you turn away from God and these kind of stuff so it's I think it's, it's something that is a test to really see that I'm really all for God mm. you know 
But I want to ask this. I want you all to just break down verse 4, because I really like how that is. It is written, man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeded out of the mouth of God. So your thoughts on that particular verse? Mm. So we want to look at the different, mm. it is written, parts. Mm -hmm. uh, um, <coughs> I, I, while we were reading, I tried to define or get the biblical definition or reference of what bread is. Mm -hmm. And bread is often used interchangeably. And, but a kern, I mean, Pastor Kern will help me here. Um, <laughs> but bread can also mean um, food. Mm -hmm. Any food. Thing that is consumed as food, right? And bread can also simply mean bread, right? Mm -hmm. The staple that the world eats, mm -hmm. on a, well, whenever, right? And uh, you know, delving into this or trying to understand what the devil was trying to do, right? One, he came to Jesus at his lowest moment, mm -hmm. right? And uh, in that, the devil knew that the de that Jesus was. Yes, God, but he had the susceptibility of humanity. So it, it could be easy to sway him, you know, to get what he really wanted um, since he overthrew or tried to overthrow God's throne in heaven, right? Um, but by every word that proceeded out of the mouth of God. And I know that a lot of us would believe that that is the Bible, but what what the biblical records and scriptures um, is not often is everything in it is not God's word, His actual words coming from His mouth. But some of it is an account of what happened with people, and also another part of it is is what actually comes from His words, His instructions, His commandment, the mm -hmm. way that He lives. So we have to discern what God's word really is because. If we if we say that the Bible is God's word, mouth word, um, then what David did was justifiable. All right. But that was a, just an account. Okay. Right? So we need to differentiate. Um, it's important for us to differentiate and understand what the scripture is saying. So all of God's instructions, starting from when he made man, <clears throat> right? Um, even to even through where he was trying to to get the children of Israel to be, and even before and after Jesus would have been crucified, all those look for the instructions. Those are God's actual words that we ought to live by. His lifestyle, right? Um, the so many Bible talks about God's word being life and not returning unto Him void. So therefore, we need to find the life-giving word, the life-giving instructions, because as the, the more we follow God's word, is the more life we have. All right. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Now, for me, I see that text as being very literal. Mm. Right. Now, it can it can mean different things to different people, but for me, it's very literal in the sense that bread or food in general, mm -hmm. you know, food is a big part of of our life as people, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And food is the reason why many people would not join our church yes <laughs> due to the, the, the dietary restrictions right I, i'm telling you right very serious and the devil came to jesus at this time knowing that food is essential to us right because we don't we don't we don't eat we don't eat to survive we eat because you know it's we have yeah for mm -hmm. pleasure basically yeah, yeah yeah seriously right and the devil thought that this was an opportune time to catch Jesus off guard yeah. and, you know, let him fall. <laughs> he better gripe in, you know, thinking straight. Exactly, right? As, as most of us would. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you when you're hungry. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. because, you know, <laughs> that's because I'm with his yeah. Yeah. And then he made the point, Jesus, right, saying that, yes, bread is important, but the word of God is even more, more important. important. Mm -hmm. And that is what really sustains us as, as Christians, as people. Not the food we eat, yes, it's important to, for survival, but if you don't have that word of God or, or place the, the, the right amount of importance on the word of God, mm. it could be detrimental in Exactly. Mm -hmm. And that's how I interpret that text. Yeah. Very literal. Um, very just to add on to what you were saying, every time I read this text and I see, but by every word proceeded, that proceeded out of the mouth of God, I just, I just take it both as the word in the Bible mm -hmm. and what God tells you. Right. You, you and God, your mm -hmm. personal relationship with God, because right. you would be going through something, 
sometimes what you read in the Bible might not. It, it might be great advice for that situation, yeah, but, it, it but for you, to you, it ends speak to you, yeah. but you need that direct word from God. But if mm-hmm. you decide to focus mm-hmm. on the bread, whatever the bread may be in the situation, mm-hmm. not what proceed out of the mouth of God, you would end up in a situation where you would have been falling falling prey to the devil. Right. Right. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. I also wanted to add to what Kashif and Brother Brown just said, right? And because and that is why we need to understand differentiating what God's God the word of God in this scripture means. Mm-hmm. Because a lot of us read the word, <coughs> the word, the Bible of God, mm-hmm. right? But it doesn't give you a life. So so that is what I'm saying. That's what I said earlier. Right, the instruct those instructions that 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 guides our life yeah, as Christians, right, is what we need to place emphasis on, because you could read this from cover to cover, the Bible from cover to cover, nothing. and still and grasp the word of God. Mm-hmm. Oh, and I like this. You know, <clears throat> it's the right we are to read the text. Man shall not live by bread alone. Mm-hmm. But by every word that proceeded out of the mouth of God. And what is it like if you put yourself in this position that you're hungry? Like you know mm. you have the power to change that stone to bread so that I can get something to eat. I know I have that power. Right? But now I am saying that although I have the power to change that bread to stone mm. for sustenance. The there is around. something, eh? The other way around. This stone to bread? Oh, I said bread to stone. <laughs> okay, cool. Right. <laughs> right, the stone to bread. Mm-hmm. I am telling you that although that is what my humanness needs, mm. what it needs more than that is the giver of life. Mm-hmm. 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 So I can be sustained in my state not because of lack of bread but because of my relationship with god and now this is both spiritual physical and all the other mm-hmm. all the other else mm-hmm. right because a lot of times we think that we always think on the on the physical level mind you know jesus was here and he fasted he, was, he would have been fasted for 40 days and 40 nights and i know for some of us if we go a day or two without we food we care we pressure. care we are under pressure mm-hmm. right and he has been doing it for 40 days and 40 nights. And now it come, as you see, you see the opportunity. But the powerful thing about this is when he says that it is written. Mm-hmm. And because it is written, it makes it true. Whether you want to accept it or not, that's a fact. It is true. So you now telling me in my human state. No, but I'm telling you that my human state is governed by something greater. Someone greater. Mm. And he is the giver of life. So every word that proceeds from his mouth, that is what would sustain me. Not me trying to prove anything to you. What is yeah. going to sustain me mm. is my relationship with God. Mm-hmm. And I think that is so important for us to understand as Christians that we just be so focused on sustenance or temporal things. Um, I have to get... Boy, the iPhone. Right? <laughs> the, the iPhone? You told me? Right. Right? Really? Anyways. <laughs> <laughs> But you have to get you have to get a job, you have to get a degree, you have to get the iPhone, you have to get this, you have to get that because you believe if you don't have it, you can't function. If you don't have it, you can't sustain yourself. Mm. But the word of God is saying because that is all of those kind of things is bread because bread is a need mm-hmm. or what you consider a need. a need. What you consider a need. So you would consider a lot of things, these are needs. Yeah. But Jesus is telling us and he's telling the devil directly. I don't need that. Once I have God, I have all I need. Mm. Mm. And it's something that we mm-hmm. really have to have to really to grasp, yeah, to grasp yeah, mm-hmm. and hold on to. Is that God is in control and once you realize that you all you need is God mm. and God is a giver of life. And God could choose to say, Well, okay. Yeah, go and turn this on to bread. Fix up. Is God telling you to do that? You know? You're not and doing that because you have the power. Right, it's not because you do because you have the power. God is saying, yeah, go ahead, do that. Hmm. But, you know, it's my big concern about all, all of this. I mean, we, we understand the power in God's word. But what about those who don't believe and can't fathom, right? 
um, this word of God and this whole idea of God, boy, right? How do we, how do we demonstrate that to them? That is my concern because here we we could we could resonate with each other with, with mm-hmm. what we are saying, mm-hmm. but how do we reach those people? And for me, right, it, you had to to know is to experience, okay. right? To know is to experience, and sometimes the things that we ought to do, we find ourselves not doing. Paul said it, mm-hmm. but it even applies to to people who are non-believers. The reason why you are so skeptical because you have not yet experienced it, you haven't put Part. it to the test, mm-hmm. uh-huh. and and it, God even said it, it especially when, it's, when He spoke about new light. When new light come, right? You have to test the spirit, mm-hmm. right? How do you test the spirit? There's a physical and tangible way to test and see if God really is who He say is. If He would. Go bring a life. Look at Job. Job, what Job was going through, plenty of we would have really cost God and did a long time mm-hmm. with his wife. That's that just the fact. But what sustained Job? Job still lived on, mm-hmm. in spite of the the the, um, the sores, the boils, the wife, the cattle and everything. But his his bread was still sure because he held on so much so that God had to tell him, "What are you doing?" You believe in what them had to, had to say about you? Hush him off. That is literally what God, God shake him up. Because he was, he was saying, he, he started to doubt himself. Mm. He said, no, you are a righteous and devout man. And sometimes, sometimes we, we, we get to that point where, because things happen to us, you know, we, we, we feel... We start to wonder. Yeah, we start to wonder if, right yeah, if, if that God still up there, boy. But... Simple, simple as having life, it could have been literally worse. Mm-hmm. You know, Job bread was still sure, right? And Job lived to tell the tale, even longer than he anticipated, because I'm mm-hmm. sure that he believed that he was going to die. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So that is that is many of us. That is, that, that that is a tangible way, right? Of of um of showing that this God would. If put, in, if put to the test, is real and yield real tangible results. And it starts with our lifestyle. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Correct, correct, correct. Mm-hmm. Okay, so considering verse 5 to 7, right? Mm-hmm. And this is the part where Satan took him up on the, the mountain top, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. And he proceeded. Holy city. Mm-hmm. Sorry, yes, yeah. sorry, the holy city. <laughs> the other right? one. And said, If thou be the Son of God, cast thyself down. For it is written, he shall give his angels charge concerning thee, and in their hands they shall bear thee up, lest at any time thou dash thy foot against a stone. Mm -hmm. And he said unto him, It is written again, Thou shalt not tempt the Lord thy God. Mm -hmm. Right? Now, something that we we see all the time, right? Put God to the test. Mm -hmm. Now, is it in this context or not? (laughs) (laughs) No. Um... (laughs) I, I, <laughs> I, sure, like, I, 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 I really want to know. I, I genuinely want to I, know. I, I don't want think you would be in this context <laughs> because this is not you testing God for to make sure that what he's saying is true. What you, what he's saying is true mm. for you. This mm-hmm. is, this would be somebody tell you this. You start to question your relationship with God and decide. Mm-hmm. What if this, what this person is telling me is the truth? Let me go and uh, let me go and put myself in danger mm-hmm. to see if if God can really do this. That to me, no, make you jeopardizing your relationship mm-hmm. with God for because what somebody else tell you. Because I have actually heard persons say, you know, God, if if that is true, then do this or do that. And to me, that is that is the same kind of thing. N- it's, no, but there's nothing. Well, to me, to yeah. me, all right. Personally, well, yeah. um, okay. We can, we can I remember say. one of my cousins. Um, <laughs> He he was, you know, is a kind of Gideon kind of thing, and he was, he say he was waiting for taxi, waiting for taxi. Mm-hmm. I can't remember what kind of, but he said like say, in Trinidad, an area where say, the Green Band Maxis do work in that area, mm-hmm. right? But he said, Lord, if I if if I am saved, no, Lord, if I am not saved, send a Red Band Maxi this way, and now mind you, Red Band Maxis do pass that way. Right? And right after he said that on the road, I read back Maxi coming down the road. He said, but he started to cry. <laughs> like, 
He tell me that he said, but he said, okay, like, but Lord, I'm not saved. What do you mean I'm not saved? Right? I mean, because, I right? Me too. No, right. Now, what you're doing there is the same thing, is the same thing what, what the devil is doing here as well, is that we take scripture and we twist it to our own liking right. with the expectation expectation that God we'll is gonna do vision. yeah God is gonna do something and you want to prove a point but is you proving a point to who yeah but right? I, 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 and I, I I disagree to the extent that and I want you to give this story at Gideon when I finish right um, as to why you know I, I disagree because I, I don't see anything put wrong with putting God to the test because it is what Satan did in comparison was to you know, he Satan motive was to take the position of Christ, right? Um, and I and I want to believe that the reason why he took him upon the holy city was was because. But the question is, though mm -hmm. he asked the question mm -hmm. here, mm -hmm. if thou be just all the Satan asking is like, prove yourself, prove yeah. yourself, prove prove to me that you are God. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but, but but hold on. Here, why that is paradoxical and nonsensical, right? <laughs> because, <laughs> no, for those who don't know, right? If you read Ezekiel, is Ezekiel what, 26? Verse 13, I believe? Somewhere around there, you, it would give you, it would highlight where the devil came from, where Lucifer came from. He was the anointed sheriff, and I, and I think there's the only angel in the Bible that announced that, that, that he was an anointed sheriff, right? He, he was literally at God's throne. He was he was the, the light bearer of God's throne. He was the, the highest hierarchy high-ranking high angel in heaven. So to come there now and to, to provoke Jesus, right, who is God, to prove to him who was there, right, that he is indeed um, the son of God, right, is 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 like you're, you're mocking him, and 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 tempt is is, is using another um, provoke is using another version, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. In in um, as opposed to tempt, so he was provoking God because it's it's, it's not it's, it's similar to this. Um, mommy, I could go and touch the fire on the stove. What stupidness you're telling me? You, you, you know you're gonna get burned. It's the same principle because the, the devil have a lot of knowledge of who he is. It's just that we don't know, mm. right? And what, what, what the devil was doing there was just trying to mock him and trying to, to siphon power from him Be, because he, know, he knew that Jesus was most vulnerable, the, the God was most vulnerable at, at being Jesus as human, right? Mm. And notice, we didn't mention it, I think he was fasting for 40 days and 40 nights. Yeah, mm -hmm. right. I 40, imagine fa fasting for 40 days and 40 nights, right? You're, 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 Someone you're if you according to Snickers, for you're not you when you're hungry, right? And a, a hungry man is an angry man. Mm -hmm. And your, your, your senses are not in, in, intact and all them kind of things. Imagine your, your, your peak of hunger, right? So, so he was even more vulnerable there as, as Christ. Right, um, and therefore, what the devil was, was doing was mocking and, and trying to bring his name into disrepute. Right, All remember right. The, mm -hmm. remember the devil trying to, to mash up the plan of salvation. Yeah. So therefore, um, I, I, I do agree to the extent that I think it's okay to put God to the test if you want answers because mm -hmm. um, you, you will get the story I get is it, and, and that is why no mind you we saying we, we're not disagreeing with mm. you but in the context of where you're bringing it in regards to like provoking because you know the facts the devil know the facts mm -hmm. that this is God that he is mm -hmm. God but it's like prove to me right. so you're, what you use the word is provoking yeah. right you're tempting mm -hmm. me you're provoking me um but you, you're now kind of putting me in a position to prove something that you already know right right and that is the thing right. now with us and, and when you're talking about Gideon, when Gideon said, Lord, you put the fleece, he put the fleece out. He said, one time, you put the fleece out. He said, let around the fleece wet and the fleece mm -hmm. dry. Mm -hmm. Go out, around the fleece wet, mm -hmm. the fleece, fleece dry. He said, Lord, all right. You reverse it. I'll go in and do it again. The fleece wet, around the mm -hmm. fleece dry. It happens. 
No, there's nothing wrong with that because we, God says to test him. Mm -hmm. And we could prove that it's like for us to, and it is for us to make sure that the surety that God is the one directing us. Mm -hmm. So it's all well and good if you want God to prove himself to you or to us. Because remember, we are his followers. So that is what we're supposed to be. The scripture says so. But the interesting thing is that in the context, even with this, is that the devil says of it is written. written. Mm -hmm. Which means that if the scripture says it, then it is so. Now, mm -hmm. Again, is the thought pattern behind mm -hmm. it. So it's not to say, and, and what comes to me with this is that, and this might be <coughs> people, and a lot of us might not be willing to accept it, but the thing is a lot of us can quote scriptures and are demons. Right? Mm -hmm. We could quote scriptures well, mm -hmm. right? We could quote scriptures in context, out of context. However, we can quote scripture, but then we are devils. Mm -hmm. And that is what that is what is so thing is that the devil knows the Bible. The devil knows who God is. So the devil could as well, and he has been doing it from since the beginning of time, since then, because he told Eve, you shall not sure, shall die. die. When God gave the word that you shall die, you shall not surely die. Mm. And then you twist it around to suit your thing. And that is what is so key here, that when Jesus answered no, in the first temptation above, he was, in my thing, he was kind of attacking the humanness. Mm. And now we're coming to say, prove to me that you are mm -hmm. God. Right. Mm -hmm. You understand? Because I ain't get through to the human part. Let me see if I can get through to the God part. Prove to me that you are God. God will have nothing to prove to anybody. Exactly. Right? But then because of we wanting a relationship with him, he would strive to make things um, better for us to, mm. to know that he is God. And even when we test him, he would just show up that he is God. Mm. Right? But the thing is, is that if our mindset is similar to that of the devil in that um, I just want to prove a point, Mm -hmm. Because a lot of us would not really experience that needed experience with God because a lot of us just want to prove a point. Even in our Christianity, you want to prove that I'm better than you. I remember a pastor was saying that, you know, he was in a situation where some persons and they said they was casting out know, demons and things. And one of them looked at him and said, what happened? Your God in a power like my God, you know? Hmm? And what? his response was, okay. Because a, it's a like, pastor. yeah. Two pastors. Yeah, but it's of different religions, right? It's like, but your God is as powerful as my God. And, and he was like, okay. I don't want to prove anything to you. Oh, okay. No, no, I follow you. You know what I'm already. saying? I don't want to prove that the God I serve but, is a powerful but God. But that's an indictment who, on the person who said it, though, because. Right. So, I don't have to prove anything, but if you have to prove that you're God powerful, you go right ahead and you do that. You fix up. Yeah, you go right ahead and do that, but I don't have to prove that because I know the God I, I serve. You understand? And that is, that, is, that, is the, that, is the, that is the difference and the unfortunate reality is that we feel that if we have different religions or have different beliefs, it's a competition to see who mm. God bigger than who. Yes. It's, it's, well, for me, it's, it's not about that because God can prove himself when are you ready. But even yeah, exactly. that notion is devilish, though, because. Yes. Yeah. Even 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 I think we are also guilty of it as in this in this side of the vineyard mm -hmm. as Adventists. Sometimes we get so overzealous in our in our quest for knowledge and, and truth and thing that you know we we look down and frown at other people. Them them can't be worshipping the same God as me. Right. Mm -hmm. You understand? Right. They start to bash the yeah. other religions and nah, you you can't be you can't be believing this and and um and 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 really worshiping the same God as me. But it was the same Christ who converted Paul, um, Saul to Paul, mm -hmm. right? All God did was re re redirect his passion mm -hmm. because he really believed in his heart exactly. that he was doing this, right he was doing thing. God's bidding. Yeah. bidding. Yeah. And that is that is many that are, that that represents a lot of us as human beings in this even Christian in Christendom. Right, we 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 we're not there yet in terms mm -hmm. of the light, and 
we have to be careful of, of, of that overzealous nature because it is a devilish spirit. Um, God or Jesus or when he walked the earth always he never positive positive him, positive himself as being better than the scribes and Pharisees. Pharisees yeah. He always pointed out the errors of their ways, right? And and by asking them questions that would prick their heart, meaning that it would prick their conscience. Mm -hmm. And sometimes we need to take that approach of humility because it doesn't make us look good. At all. Because that pastor who tell the other pastor that I don't believe it, he was the pastor that was speaking. <laughs> At all. You understand? Because it, it's scary. So sometimes we have to be careful of how we, we look at this Christian life and look at other people who, who probably are not of our faith or of the same belief or, or possibly are not of the same truth as us, right? That they are, not, they, are, they are just the same. But all we need to do is to just posit Christ. Right. Posit the word of God, that's all. Mm -hmm. You understand? You don't you don't have to be so overzealous that you feel that like you're up there and everybody else down there. You understand? Mm -hmm. I mean I, I my mother is not an Adventist, but I would always say that, you know, she represents what Christianity is. Um, you know, and I would even go as far to say better than many of us who are walking this along this mm -hmm. road. You understand, mm. but she doesn't know the truth. She doesn't. She doesn't accept some of our truths that that is in the Bible. But I can't say that she's not saved. Mm -hmm. Can't say yeah. that not my place. I was just about to say that you because understand? some people, when they think about, well, not when they think about, when they look at other religions and see if you believe that you can't be saved. And in my mind, even if you don't try to convert that person to Christianity, you would always have this bad. This bad taste in their mouth mm -hmm. when when they think about Correct. think about your religion because if you are the one person and it might not be but if you are the one person they know in that fit and that is the first impression you give them, they, their mind is going to be all. I just use another example. All Adventists they think this way. Mm -hmm. If they how all Adventists think, Adventists is not good people. Mm. I shouldn't associate with that. Correct. And that is not the. That is not what you should be leaving with people at all. Even if you don't try to convert them, you always show Christ in the way that if even if they don't um, convert, mm -hmm. that the person will always say, "I like the way they do certain things." Uh, let me let me try to ad even if it's, let me try to adopt some of these practices. It might be better for me. Even if it might not get me to heaven, it might just be it might just work out better for me in life. Mm -hmm. Right. And I think that is an issue that we really need to fix. But that is and, I, and I quickly want to share this quick nugget. The truth is, my mo my mother and I, we'll be, we'll be back and forth about the whole topic of Sabbath and law. I just enjoy it because I get an opportunity to show her why I I hold on to this thing, right? Um, but never would I say that, you know, because she and she didn't accept it today or, the, or that day or whenever we, 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 we have a discussion about it. That she lost, you understand? All is not lost until she dies, you understand? All is not lost for me until I find new truth myself. Mm -hmm. So we, we just had to be careful. And, you know, as we're talking about this whole um, tempting God, te tempting Jesus, mm -hmm. we need to also not be tempting ourselves because we are just as Satan was in the wilderness. If we take that stance. Mm -hmm. yeah. Cool. Nice, man. Nice. Mm -hmm. So, in the last few verses, mm -hmm. we're seeing here where the devil now takes um, Jesus mm -hmm. to an exceedingly high mountain mm -hmm. and showed him all the kingdoms mm -hmm. of the world and mm -hmm. the glory of them and everything. And he said, All these things will I give to you if thou wilt fall down and worship, worship me. me. Mm -hmm. And Jesus replied, and Jesus replied and said, Get thee hence, Satan, mm. for it is written, Thou shalt worship the Lord thy God, and him only shalt shall thou serve. Mm. So we are seeing him. Attack of the hu on the humanness. Attack on God himself. It's like, if I can't get that, you worship me. Now, worship. 
you have to be in order for you to worship something is because you place it higher than yourself mm -hmm. yes mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. and that is where in everything's here mm -hmm. that is what the devil was trying to do if you turn this bread this stone mm -hmm. stone into <laughs> no, wait, I've, I've right. a slice of pizza for you. Yeah, great. Yeah. Right? If you turn this stone into bread, mm -hmm. you are proving that, that, that you that, that's belly. right. Mm -hmm. That you value sustenance, physical sustenance over oh, God. Right? And then if you choose, if you prove to me mm. and call the angels down from heaven to help you out now, you're proving to me there. That in your human state, you can handle it. You have to be in your God state to handle exactly. it. Exactly. And right? who would have thought quicker? I just want to say this. And just, and not only that, eh, look at who is presenting the bread. So in, in essence, if Jesus tur did indeed turn this, the stone to bread, mm -hmm. he, would in, he would invariably be worshipping Satan. Correct. Mm -hmm. Correct. Because, right. it's not, because it's not God presenting, not God the, bread. presenting no, the bread. No, the I, not not the bread, but the, the idea, idea of mm -hmm. the bread. The idea that you presented is it, it, it's not it's of not, God. It's it didn't come from God. God. It came from the devil, right? And now here he come direct because all of that is worship coming mm -hmm. again. Mm -hmm. So he come directly now. Yeah, you are saying. You're Watch saying. all of this. You just had the body and worship me, <laughs> and all of this is yours. Mm. The fact of the matter with this is that when God. And God now, we are not re not really realizing, but now the devil comes straight to tell him what his intentions are, and that is why he had to put him in a place and say, "Get the heads, Satan." Hmm. For it is written, and again he used the word again. Mm -hmm. For it is written, "Thou shalt worship the Lord thy God, and him only shalt thou serve." And now you're putting yourself in a position now that hey, I don't bow down to you, and the thing is, is that. A lot of us just say we're not bowing and then we're looking at things and we're living in a time right about now that we accept certain things and say certain things are okay and this kind of stuff and it's not. And you saying you understand it is like no, you cannot. Once you bow to it, you are giving it power over you. Mm -hmm. And once you're doing that, you put yourself in a position that if you think that you're heaven bound, no you're not. Because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. you're only serving God. Mm -hmm. You should only worship God. God. Mm. But a lot of us put emphasis on worshiping our vehicles, of worshiping our spouses, of worshiping our children, of even worshiping the church. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I just about to see that. The building? The bi of course. Oh, the even worshiping the church. Mm -hmm. It's like you, 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 you are not about doing God's work. And you are about just the idea. So it's like, this is what runs my life. This is what, this is what functions. This is what I function out of. And this is, could be a very precarious mm -hmm. position to be in. Because yeah. we could just be getting all of these worldly things. All of the best things that the world has to offer. Mm -hmm. But yet still... Achieving those and not having God is still as getting nothing. Yeah. yeah. And, no. and for me, you go ahead, Kashif. Go ahead. Yeah. For me, this third temptation is for me the most. What to say? The, the one that we cannot relate to, right? As human beings today, right? No. As humans, we value a few things above everything else, right? The one being certainty, right? We want to know that tomorrow we have food. Right. Mm -hmm. And next week we're good to go, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So certain, <laughs> certainty and comfort, hmm. right? And the one thing that can guarantee you that in, in this world is money, right? Right. Money can guarantee you all those things today, immediately, right? And many people today, I don't think, can resist that temptation. Now, if you look at the first two, right? The food and, um, and, and the, the, the temptation to, you know, well, it's coming again? Oh, right, yeah. with the charge, mm -hmm. when the right, angels get charged over him. Yes, mm -hmm. right? Now, this third one is very relatable to everybody. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. we see it even today in, the, in, the, in Hollywood and, and all the, on TV, the yeah. industry, right? Many persons sacrifice their soul. Um, to get these things. To things. get that. Right. right. And, it shows, and it shows the power of Jesus, right? Mm -hmm. Even at his weakest, right? Physically, right? He right. was fasting for 40 days. He was, he was able to reject these things and stand firm on the truth, right? Stand in his truth, his father's, you know, his father's word, right? And it just shows that if we 
for me, the church gives us the blueprint on how to be the devil because the last verse said the devil flee, flee from him, right? Mm -hmm. Verse 10, right? The devil leave at him, right? And behold, the angels came and ministered unto him, right? So the devil tried food, it didn't work. Mm -hmm. He tried power, it mm -hmm. didn't work, right? And whatever else, right? So those three temptations, I believe, is what the devil can use to try to derail you. No, That's what he uses. Right. It hasn't changed, you know. It hasn't right. changed. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So if, if you can conquer your your um your your issue with food, hunger, right? Mm -hmm. Hunger, appetite, appetite yes, mm -hmm. yeah. power, mm -hmm. right? And your desire for worldly things. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What else can he use to 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 um yeah. to to derail you? He just or, you or, use or keep people are wrong you, but yeah, he they just they just they can't. They just tweak yeah. the method a little bit. Yeah. And for me, this this story or this yeah this this passage is giving us a blueprint on how we can avoid the devil's temptations mm -hmm. or, or overcome them mm -hmm. in Jesus name. Mm -hmm. Simple as that. Yeah. I just want to add this too. And um, for me, when we all run around that the devil gave Jesus to come down to the same thing at the mm -hmm. end. Mm -hmm. For me, the first one, it, for me, if you give me a host that run around, the answer will be no, right you. But if you come to me direct with something, mm -hmm. I would think about it and then, depending on what it is, the answer could most likely be yes. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So I know for, in a situation like that, I might have fallen. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. I mm -hmm. know that for sure. If you come to me direct, this is what mm -hmm. I want in exchange for this. Don't right. tell me I was the unnecessary information. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I, we could have a plain discussion. But that is, that is what I find. It was when he when he meets when he tried the first time he see that and work he try a different way that and work he see all right i come into you straight and direct now mm -hmm. if this is not it i done yeah, yeah. But, but i don't think it, i don't think it's like it done because he didn't done oh yeah he yeah. didn't done done for now yeah for now yeah. he didn't done. because I, I don't i don't even think he came direct he didn't he you he, the devil was persuasive eh? very, very persuasive and the part where the angels ministered to Christ when he came, when, when he went through the day, um, that when everything was done, was like their hurrah because I'm sure they were sitting in, in heaven watching the bated breath to see what he would do in his human state mm -hmm. because the, the, Jesus was really susceptible, right? And Kashi put it in a very good nutshell in the sense that that, it, that culminates our, our journey as Christians, right? And I want to d d um, talk about the 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 fact that we worship the church uh as, as, and i might be probably ostracized for this but you know be that as it may it it pains me a lot when you know we really worship the building and treat people differently um you know when 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 it when it comes to to that kind of thing right and i i think i think we need to remember that the church <coughs> is not no longer the building but us yeah mm -hmm. and we need to treat other church mm. that is a part of the body of church body of christ um better than we 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 we, we paint up the building and put mm -hmm. ac and and keep it clean mm -hmm. right plenty of us go in a clean church but our hearts are the worst mm. you understand and we need to be mindful of that and the second thing is that last that last thing was more than just the devil offering God, Jesus, tempting Jesus to bow down and worship him. The devil played on Jesus' passion to save us. Anna. What the devil was offering to Christ at that time was a, a shortcut to salvation. Mm -hmm. The devil know that he have, he's the prince of this earth. You understand? The devil know that he's the prince and he have the world in his hands. In the sense that the direction that the mere fact that Jesus came to save us is bare ev is pure evidence that Satan yeah. have mm -hmm. the world. Mm -hmm. yeah. He's the prince of this world. So what he was invariably giving to Jesus was a shortcut. Path. I have all of them here now. But if you just come and worship me, mm -hmm. all you, have is yours. Yeah, you, have yeah. a, you don't have to die on no cross. Yeah, all is yours. You understand? <laughs> Bend your knee no, for no, think, about, think about it. And think about the state at which Christ was in, right? Jesus' passion, uh, Christ, the Lord's passion as Christ, God's passion as Christ was to save man. 
Remember, he understands what sin is, and we don't. He understands the effects. Um, the well, effects are sin. The full, the full the, thing, because we have experience it. Because it's like the full, the full, the full experience. Mm -hmm. And therefore, as God, as our Creator, He is most passionate about saving us, right? And the devil knew that. So he come with the thing as he came up on a high mountain. So you see all this here? Yeah? I have them and but if you if you just worship, if you just bow down and worship me, shortcut, you don't have to you don't have to agonize and sweat no blood and no in no garden and get so many. Yeah, right? For them people they shortcut. I had them, I could just talk to them and and, and but they, you just worship me first. You understand? <laughs> and even as Christians, that's why the Bible says. We have to be so rooted because the very elect will be deceived in the last yeah. days. Mm -hmm. True. You understand? Because True. we can't go through. We can't go through that. <laughs> Many of us, let me see, let me see, let me rephrase. <laughs> Many of us can't go through, right? What Jesus went through successfully because of where our relationship with God is in Correct. You understand? This is this whole scripture is about relationship with God. And if you put it on a relationship, boyfriend and girlfriends situation if you love shit but yeah no no matter what what woman or 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 cougar or whatever come man say cougar you understand hey cougar okay yeah all right no matter <laughs> how she come you don't want nobody else no and that's exactly what christ did here he don't want nobody else he could be hungry you want nobody else right everybody else could be getting their attention but he don't want nobody else he just wore God. Mm -hmm. And that is where we need to be that hunger and thirsting after after yeah. righteousness and we will be filled. Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. James I four. Just wanna piece PCC on the first point that you was making. Uh -huh. If some of us treat other church members, other people in the body of Christ half or even the same level at which we treat the church building would be in a much better place. For Teddy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that, that's mm -hmm. it. <laughs> <laughs> James 4 7 says, Submit yourselves mm. therefore to God. Resist the devil and he will flee from mm. you. Yeah. And let us start a text that we will wrap up with because yeah. we realize that Jesus Christ submitted himself to his Father. And because of that submission, the devil tried. But eventually the devil had to go. Remember, with all that was going on there, mm. Jesus never ran anywhere. Mm. The yeah. devil was taking him. If you look at the scripture, the devil said, turn that stone to bread. Mm -hmm. The devil took him mm -hmm. to the place. It didn't work there. The devil take him again to a mountain. So it's the devil that is moving him. Mm -hmm. And he is going along with it because he is submitted to the Father. Eventually, the devil had to go. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that is what God is telling each and every one of us today as well, this evening. If we submit oh, ourselves sir. to God, if we submit ourselves to Him, no matter what challenges, whatever you're going through, whatever you feel is the devil attacking you, the devil have to flee because you are submitted to God. This is not a, this is, it is written mm -hmm. submit yourself therefore to god resist the devil and he, and does, he mm -hmm. will flee mm -hmm. from you Amen. so i hope by god's grace that we really had a very enlightening time a very good time with us this evening and we hope that you would continue to just daily submitting yourself to god because once we do that we will be able to stand and god will deliver us from whatever situation that we are going through mm -hmm. so we are calling on you right about now to just Continue to stay focused, stay close to God, stay submitted to Him. So at the end of this life, we all will be a part of life eternal. Amen. God's blessings and do have a wonderful Amen. Sabbath.